You made a lot of money. I mean, I've been in reality television. For the, for, the, for the average not person. Not what you're reading. No, not but for the average person yeah, in the yeah, country, you made a definitely. lot of money. And okay, you were was making... a huge blessing yes. to be able to. Right. To so you were, that. you got some plastic surgery, so they say, but it looked oh, like it. I did it. have a tummy tuck. Okay. Absolutely. So people were saying, okay, now you have a tummy tuck. You were hanging out, you were theoretically hanging out with your security person. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. No. So that's no. No. But no. Okay. No. You know, you, you're, you've said publicly that you kind of need to support your kids. You need money to support your kids. So I think people want to know where the money, where the money went, where the money is, you know, because as a mo right, do you guys want to know where the money is? Yeah. All right. And uh, by the way, I want you to know I don't judge you at all. I know what oh. you're talking about. I just want to be able to have a conversation with you because Definitely. these are moms here, Definitely. and they want to understand and, like who you really are. And I'm real, and I have nothing to hide. So um, let's just and, do it. Let's just okay. do it, and not like so. Let's just do it. So at the very beginning, you cross a line where you realize like. Okay, so I took this amount of privacy from my kids. I'm fully aware of that. The Got majority it. of what we made, I personally took and put in um, a college fund for them because right. they will go to college. Got it. And you have the, eight the kids sent through college. So, yeah, so I use coupons. We don't wear the top brands. Those things to me aren't overly important, but college, school, and uh, their house where they live is important. And, and I... It, it, you know, divorce is divorce, and when you're going through divorce, of course, a lot of it you're looking back over the years to see in your own mind what went wrong, what happened. I think it magnified it, maybe. It caused things to come to light sooner, but looking back, those issues were always there, and, and I feel like um, the person, honestly, the, the person that I married nearly overnight Changed. was not that person anymore. Well, he was shown recently, he had a gun to the paparazzi. So has he snapped? Has it been a gradual snap? Is he under a lot of stress having to, you know, I know he works uh, at a restaurant now as a waiter, right? So uh, what, what, hap what's, what happened to him then? I don't have the answers for you. Um, Do you still love him? Somebody once told me that if you feel um, sadness and empathy and pity for someone, um, the root of that is love. So it's interesting. I, I agree with you. It I, could I, be, and translated. it's good that you're. A, are you able to feel? You're able yes, to feel sympathy. Very much so. Good. That's good. That's good. How is his relationship with your children? They visit him every other weekend. He has a dinner night with them. Without going into too much detail, there we're we're making the best of it. Um, I I just definitely want them uh, to know that I did not um, hinder or stand in the way of that relationship with him. So I do everything I can to, you know, to foster keep that. Bond together. Because it is important. Um, I agree. And, and, and that is, you have to have the ability to remove judgment um, and, and ugliness from that. The best thing for my kids is that I give them that opportunity and that ability to continue that relationship. When they are older, if they don't want to do it anymore or whatever decision they make, that's their business. Right. But for now, my job is to foster that bond. Correct. Right.